Hey, what's up guys? It's Dan here from Table Tennis Daily and in today's review we're going to be taking a look at the new Butterfly Tenergy 05 Hard Rubber. And there's a lot of hype online right now and a lot of talk about how this rubber plays. We recently released an unboxing video on this rubber, so check down the links below if you haven't already seen it. So we'll keep this intro short and sweet. Of course this rubber is the newest addition to the Tenergy series and is the harder version of the popular Tenergy 05 which was released 10 years ago. So with me here, I've got the Tenergy 05 hard and the Tenergy 05. Throughout the review, I'll be comparing both rubbers to get a good idea on how the Tenergy 05 hard performs. So here we have the Tenergy 05 hard. It's a high tension rubber. You can feel the grippy surface and the spring sponge, very, very similar to Tenergy 05. Of course, the main real difference is the sponge hardness. Butterfly state the 05 hard is 43 degrees, whereas the Tenergy 05 is 36 degrees. In our durometer test, we found this sponge hardness to be very accurate indeed, the difference. We used a very fancy new durometer, which measures the hardness of these two rubbers. The Tenergy 05 had 23.5, whereas the new Butterfly Tenergy 05 hard had 28. This gave a 19% difference between the two sponge hardnesses. This 19% difference matches exactly what Butterfly state between the two sponge hardnesses. Now the Tenny G05 hard is a heavy rubber. It comes in at 76 grams when uncut and comparing it to Tenny G05, Tenny G05 being 69 grams. So there's a seven gram difference between the two. Okay guys, let's get right to it. Here's me and Tom in the T2D studio. So to keep things fair, we've had a few comments recently to try the rubbers that we're reviewing on our own blade. So we've done exactly that. I've got it on my normal Steger blade that I play with in my matches and training. Going to try the 10G05 hard on that on both sides. And I'll be using it on the T-Mobile LC, which I've been using for the last few months now. Good blade. So I'll be comparing it against 10 g 5 as well. And Tom will try it against your my normal, normal rubbers as well. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So let's get stuck in, see what this 10 g 5 hard is all about. Let's get to it. Mm, wow. Quick. Yeah, very quick. I feel like I can go re really forward with the shot. Like, I don't need to go up much at all. If I go forward, it's very direct and really very consistent, yeah. I'm getting some spin there as well. It's good. Nice. So I can really go forward. Yeah, I'm, I'm finding a difference in the blocking. Yeah? Yeah, I'm finding like it's quite subtle, the bat angle changes. Okay. It's a subtle bat angle change and it's, yeah, fairly, like, fairly easy to go off the end. But yeah. I, I also, I'm, it's adjusting from what I'm used to as well a little bit. I feel it leaves the bat so quickly, it doesn't actually have that much time to actually get spin. spin. Yeah. So you really have to accelerate fast to get a lot of top spin. So it's, pr it's pretty, you got to be quite precise. Yeah, for high level tot spins for sure. You can be so direct and forward. Yeah. Like I, I think the ball's gonna go into the net, but it doesn't. It's such, got such a good trajectory going forward. And I like that with the with the plastic ball because I sometimes find before with softer rubbers, ball blobs a lot off. Of effort, yeah, a lot of effort as well. Exactly. This to, is just to so generate. Crisp. Yeah. Yeah. And just directly through the ball. Yeah, can already feel for me, it's definitely more suited already to my backhand. Uh -huh. I just feel like that hardness and firm contact I'm getting and the safety over the net without actually having to lift is, is so much for me more suited to my backhand side. I agree, it's very, it's very, very direct. And like I say, I, I like hard rubbers with the plastic ball. I think it, it gives the ball more energy, which is sending it forward. Yeah, definitely. For me, it's great on the bat. I'm loving it on the, let's try one more backhand top spin. Yeah, that's that's kind of what I'm f liking that feeling of when you top spin. It's it's hard and it's quite a low trajectory, but it's it's still got that safety somehow when it leaves the bat. And I really I really think on the backhand this suits me. Just having that control with it just seems a bit better. When the forehand I was finding struggling to get like the bat angle right for me personally. Mm -hmm. I mean, obviously everyone's different. I would. I'll definitely use this on my back end. And it takes a little bit of adjustment like any rubber, but because this is so hard, 
it is quite different to what we're used to. I'm quite used to the 05 and I mean, this is a big difference to 10 Geo 5 I've got to tell you that. There is, I thought there'd be more similarity, but it, it's got a yeah. very similar feel in terms of that spring effect, but then the actual contact and the way the ball's flying over. Yeah, I think it's the trajectory that this one gives yeah. is different. Definitely. And I do think you're right. You have to be quite precise and confident with your strokes to get mm -hmm. this. You've got to be quite refined and, and you know, it's not, it's definitely not, I mean, we say it's a lot, but it's not for a beginner player. You want to be advanced mm -hmm. with your strokes and confident because you've got to have that right bat angle to make it work well. Let's try you four-hand topspin. I'm and sending I'll, and my I'll, rockets. Yeah, the, good, the strong Dan Ives forehand. Okay. Didn't work in our one-set showdown, but let's try it. <laughs> we'll do it next time. Rematch, rematch. And I'll backhand block. Ooh, nice. Oh, nice. See, I can really just go through the go ball. Go through the ball, yeah. Okay, guys, again, same blade, Team Bar LC. I've got the 05 hard, the black side on the forehand and then the red side is just normal Tenergy 05. I just want to straight away see the difference between the two. We'll do a bit of 3.4 hand Tom. Yep. So with 05 hard first, and then some top spins with the 05. Okay. All right, so 05 hard. Nice. Woo, direct, and then 05 normal. Wow, the difference. Massive Ooh. difference right away. I can feel the difference. <laughs> really? The way the ball was coming to me. Yeah. It's, it feels like it's almost, I don't want to exaggerate, but it almost felt like slow motion after you play with the hard. Interesting. And then go back to the 05. It's obviously still quick. It's a fast, spinny attacking rubber, but the way the ball traveled through the table yeah. when you're looping with the 05 hard was a lot more, it felt more, yeah, the more direct and more difficult, more punchy, more... Okay zip towards me. Interesting. Yeah, I feel when I'm contacting the ball, the 05, I'm feeling more dwell, more sink into the sponge. So when I'm tossing it, I feel a lot more safety. It feels yeah. more and confident. You, you could notice it, even when you were taking the ball slightly later, there was that nice high arc yeah. over the net. And with the 05 hard, it was definitely a lot lower and more straight through. Agreed, it is really, it's a really prominent difference. Woo. Woo! Again, yeah, direct as anything. Okay, 10 Geo 5. Okay. It just sinks into the sponge so much more. I'm, I'm so much more used to the 05 hard now. Do that again. I've got to brush the ball more with 05. With, with the 05 hard, I can just go through the ball easily. And then 05. See the difference there? Mm. Just play so much more stronger with the 05 hard. Well, I think it's interesting for me personally is I would use the 05 hard on the forehand and then normal 05 on the backhand. I know for you it was a bit different. Just like that crisp contact, but. Yeah, I like that on the backhand to be yeah. fair. But again, that's just styles really. 05 hard. And then 05. Whew, that was both quick. <laughs> both quick. I'll tell you what, right? Mima Ito would love to 05 hard. Really, I reckon? The way she plays, quick attacking game. Through, yeah. I reckon she could beat us with anything. She'll beat us with a frying pan. Probably. Dong! That's really? great. I'm gonna try some back and top spins, right? Okay. 05 normal first. The normal 05, right? Yeah. See, for me, that's a lot safer. With the hard. Yeah. It's just direct, so it's gonna hit the net. It's gonna be more lower to the net and could hit net off or on. But when I'm precise, it's gonna go Definitely less margin well. for error, yeah. I gotta say, I feel like I'm making quite a lot of unforced errors yeah. due, to the, due to the pace and how hard it is. So it does quite, it's taking quite a lot of adjustment for me right now just to get used to this. Um, I've used it a couple of times in practice, but Still not enough to really get the feel. I feel I need to slow down a touch as well. Yeah, maybe just to get used to the angle yeah. and, and the way the contact the ball. It. 
So in the back now, I'm really relaxed, it's just pinging through. It's nice. Nice. Yeah, that's better. I, it, Starting more controlled yeah. and building it up, just getting used to the timing and the, the bat angle made a big difference. For sure, it shows how, how, how much pace you're getting. Yeah, it's quick. Okay, Tom, so next up, gonna try some open up, some spin, and we'll just do some rallies and just see how. Definitely, one of the most yeah. important parts of the game, the serving open up first ball, so let's give it a go. <laughs> oh, yes. yes. Cool. That's the bat angle we're talking about. It is, isn't it? There was a lot of spin then. It just, it just Miles flew off. off. Nowhere near, was it? Yeah. Got to get that correct. <laughs> That's nice. You know, already I'm having to work quite a bit on the open up. I feel like I have to get a good acceleration. Okay. With the, uh, obviously I'm used to 05, with 05. What I love with 05 generally is I can be very relaxed and not even do much effort and the ball will grip in and, and ping over. Okay, yeah, I see what you mean. Because of the hard man to actually accelerate and play the quality shot. Hmm. Good counter. Interesting. See, like this one. Okay, I wasn't in that good position anyway. I had quite a slow acceleration. Ball just dived in the net. Yeah, because that hardness is not forgiving. Yeah. Not forgiving in the sponge. <laughs> Whoa. One of yours. That's a spicy one. <laughs> oh. Spinny. Because it's harder, I guess when you time it well, it's going to get more spin because of the tension effect. It makes a bit more use of the top sheet, I yeah. think. Oh, I feel like it is anyway. It whereas feels like it is, doesn't it? Yeah. Whereas the softer, I mean, not the 05 soft, but it's, it is a softer sponge. It's soaking in and you're using the sponge more. Yeah. Whereas with the hard, I feel like it's making more use of the top sheet by not sinking as much. It's grabbing it a bit quicker. I think you're spot on there. I think that's what it is. You're getting more of the top sheet. Rather than the sponge effect. Yeah. Oh, oh that's the one you see. So Tom, I'm going to do a few open ups now with the, just the 05. Original one, yeah. And let's just see what, um, what you get. Yeah. <laughs> oh, good. Yeah. If I, see, I'm, I'm more, more relaxed, more safety. That was away. great. It was definitely easier to block though as well at the same time. Yeah, yeah, no. 05 hard is, is very, is a higher quality shot. Yeah, but, but it's trickier to get it right. Exactly, exactly. Yeah. Yeah, again, it's just so much more, just that bit more softer has given me a lot more forgiveness Safety. and control. So we're gonna have a look at a few counter top spins with the 10 g 5 hard now, just to see how it goes. So if I let Dan open up to around my middle and I'm gonna try and go for that forehand counter, see how it goes. Okay. Ooh. Spicy. Very crisp contact on the ball. Again. Oof. Good for countering. Oof. Getting it right in the corner. It's ridiculous. Really good for countering. I feel, if anything, that's where I've had the most safety on that shot. Uh -huh. There's already quite a bit of speed and spin on the ball and I'm able to just come through and really close the racket angle and it just feels crisp and firm. There it okay. is. Yeah. Can I try some flicks? Let's try, so I'll serve. Yeah. Flick. <laughs> Ooh, serve. I'm just going to do a few flicks with the uh, 05 normal. Just see the difference. <laughs> yeah, 05 hard. Ooh. Yeah, top of the bounce with the 05 hard, you can get okay, through it well. Get right through it, yeah. Yeah, like that. This is good. 
Again, I think it's a lot to do with the timing and the contact mm -hmm. and being in the right position with the 05 hard. Whereas if you're looking for something where you feel like you're getting out of position a lot or you need that bit of extra safety and dwell, perhaps you play a bit further back on the table, then mm -hmm. you'd look at the 05 original for me. Had it. Yeah. <laughs> 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 oh, brutal. Sorry. It went, it went on as well. All right, guys, there was a review of Tunny G05 Hard. Really hope you enjoyed it and it gave you a good idea of how the rubber performs. So as the name suggests, Tunny G05 Hard is a lot harder than Tunny G05. And it surprised me quite a lot. I didn't think it was gonna be as hard. Now, because it is harder and a bit heavier, the shot is a lot more direct. So when you top spin, it's got a lot less arc than a Tunny G05. This is because there's less dwell and the sponge is harder. So when the ball's hitting it, it's just shooting off quickly. Now with the 05, as you saw in the footage, when I top spinned, it was sinking into the sponge more, giving me more catapult. Now, what's really interesting with the 05 hard is that I could produce a higher quality shot than the 05 when I really engaged into the rubber. When I used good legs and good body and really snapped my arm, I felt like I could really get a lot of spin. The grip and the top sheet really engaged well, and I was produced a better shot than a 10 g 05 usually against Tom who blocks my shots well, but with this 05 hard, I was winning a lot more outright shots, which I was really surprised about. As mentioned in the review, this rubber is really good for counter top spins and high level shots when you're close to the table. It also works really well in the short game. I was able to get a lot of backspin. Because it's a hard sponge, you can really dig into the ball and it stays low over the net, which I really liked. Of course, guys, I'm sure you're aware, this really isn't for a beginner or an intermediate player. This is for a player who's got really grooved strokes, good technique and practices often. That means I'll be able to get the most out of this rubber as it's very sensitive to spin and requires high quality and control. So let us know in the links below if you've tried out this rubber and also what other rubbers and blades you'd like us to review in the future. Be sure to subscribe, hit the bell for notifications, like the video. Thanks for watching. <laughs>